Welcome to Let's Play Top Gear GT Championship R23 or 21, excuse me. I, I saw this round three and I just said three. Anyways, we're going to Sportsland Sugo for round three of season four. And I have, what was that, 70 kilograms of ballast or something like that? Cool. So I'm three points behind the Calisonic Skyline, who is starting in fourth position in this race. Gets a good launch. Very, very tight here. At the start. Then they just kind of pull away from me. Okay, I'll take it. So, see how I can do around here. Man, everybody's going everywhere. The Calisonic Skyline was just darting back and forth, and he ended up in the grass. That's really going to help me out for the championship. If he uh, has a bad race. If I can manage to have a good one here. The field is just all kinds of jacked up right now. We have the uh, Mobile One NSX, which is... Oh! Okay. <laughs> Mobile One NSX, which was leading. Just kind of took out himself and the uh, Zexel Skyline. Way to go. I will, I will take P1. Uh, even in a 2D game like this, we have the AI crashing each other. It's magnificent. Well, I see the Skyline recovered well. NSX, not so much. He's at least down to fourth. No, you don't. Okay, yes, you maybe do. Fupa's really trying to pass me. but was not able to. Seems like these uh, longer gears are a bit of a double-edged sword, because, like, if I can keep my momentum up, I can carry a lot of speed. But... I think my acceleration is slowed because, you know, longer gears, so... Getting up to top speed takes a little longer. And thus, I'm more of a sitting duck. Still holding second place here. A little bit of a slipstream off the GTR. Oh, oversteer. Damn it. He's doing so good, too. Okay, one lab to go here. Just gotta hopefully not fuck this up. And take the win. I'll definitely take the point lead, and I might even take a... comfortable point lead, maybe. Depending on where the, uh... Calsonic Skyline finishes. Yeah, that's right, I adjusted my brakes. I probably could use them a little bit here. It might help me out slightly. Okay, past the hard part. Just got the sweeper to go. Which is easy peasy. And... Cross the line. Alright. Good recovery after that third place at Motegi. Two straight wins. And the Calisonic Skyline finishes in third. I'll take that. Mobile One NSX finished last after starting in the lead. Whoops. So that gives me a five point advantage over the Calisonic Skyline heading into the second half of the season. So. Things are still pretty heated here. Definitely, uh, not over yet, especially since we have the two difficult rounds. 
coming up. So with that, stay tuned for the second half of the final season. Ooh.